Enma san. Toss to me. No. Please. No. But he was cut off as Kenma sent him a death glare. Wah, Kenma san, you're so scary. He's probably upset because Kyoru hasn't been spending as much time with him. Dot dot dot. All he misses our dear captain. You're so noisy. But our little setter is so in love. It's not that deep. Wait, Kenma, you like Kyu Yaku kicked Lev hard. Stop yelling or he'll hear. Captain's not even here yet. Anyways isn't it good if he knows? Kenma should be the one to tell him. If he ever works up the courage. Whatever. Yeah I'll see you later. Kenma looked to where Kyoru was walking in, waving off the cause of Kenma's recent lack of Kyoru time. You're late. I was with Fumiko. You're spending a lot of time with her. All pudding head, are you jealous? No. You are. I'm not. Are too. I'm not. Sure sure, whatever you say. Don't worry, you're still my favorite. Kenma's heart skipped a beat. Whatever. Okay let's get practice started everyone. After practice. Kenma and Kyoru were walking home together as usual. I'm going this way so I'll see you later. Text me when you get home. Question mark. Where are you going? Fumiko invited me over. Oh. Okay, have fun. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kenma plopped on his bed and sent Kyoru a text telling him he's home. He got excited when his phone buzzed quickly after, only to be disappointed that it wasn't Kyoru. Confess already group chat. Thursday, 6.17pm. Tendao sent an attachment. Everyone is online. Oh my god, happy Hinata tears. Oh yay, congrats. Everyone congratulates him. You didn't have to show everyone. But I'm sure they wanted to see. Whatever. How did everyone else's go? We haven't done any more. We were too worried. Dot dot dot. I didn't think you'd all care that much. Of course we do. Yeah we're all friends now. Dot dot dot. Like I'd ever actually be friends with any of you. Crying face. Okay maybe just a little. Happy Hinata. Now that that's all worked out, let's continue. Yes. Oh wait can I add someone to the chat? Of course. Atsumu added Suna to the chat. What is this and why was I added? So you can finally stop pining and ask my stupid brother out already. Dot dot dot. I guess since we're adding people anyways. Iwazumi added Yahaba to the chat. Why am I here Iwazumi Senpei? Krapakura won't shut up about how his precious Kohei needs to confess already. Oh okay. You're just going to accept it like that? It was going to happen eventually. I've already decided he's mine. I. Wow. You all need to be more like Yahaba. So sooner you're 11 and Yahaba is 12. Okay. I didn't agree. Alright so it's time to start. Yay? Okay next up is... Kenma. Dot dot dot. I want to play my games instead. Kenma. Please. Dot dot dot. I guess for you Shoyo. Smiley faces. Good luck. It'll go great. I'll be here to back you up. I said
best friend Through all the dudes that came by And all the nights that you cried Girl, I was there right by your side How could I tell you I loved you When you were so happy With some other guy Open your door. This is actually happening. I'm so happy. Kyoru and Kenma are offline. When Kenma opened his bedroom door, Kyoru immediately pulled him into a tight hug. Hey, Kyoru. Please tell me you meant it. Kenma blushed. Why, yeah, I did. This isn't some cruel dream I'll wake up from. Kenma hugged him back. No, you idiot. Good. They stayed like that for a while longer, Kenma feeling so warm in Kuru's embrace. Until he remembered something. W wait I thought you were at Fumiko's house. Kuru let go and took a slight step back to look at Kenma. I was but I told her I had to come see you and ran here. A and she was okay with that? Hmm. Yeah. Why wouldn't she be? I just thought you two were getting. Closer. Kenma averted his eyes but Kuru just as quickly started laughing. So you were jealous. You're so cute pudding. HMPH, whatever. Kuru placed his hand on Kenma's head and gave him the most endearing look. I promise it's not like that. Really? She just asked me to help her study, then she let it slip that she liked someone and wanted my advice. Oh. Though I guess I wasn't really qualified when I've spent the last seven or so years pining for one person who was the one who ended up confessing to me. Kenma's face turned red. That long? I've only ever had eyes for you. Oh. You're so cute kitten. I I am not and don't call me that. Kyoru stepped closer, causing Kenma to step back. And you're all flustered, it makes you extra cute. I am not. You are. One step closer. I'm not. R2. I'm not. R2. I'm not. More steps until Kenma's back hit the closed door. Kyoru placed his arm over Kenma on the door and looked down at him. R2. Kenma felt like his body was shaking as his heart beat super fast. Kyoru. He grabbed Kyoru's shirt. K kiss me? Kyoru looked surprised but then leaned in and carefully gave Kenma a kiss. 
Kenma didn't know something could feel so nice. They pulled away and it took a second before Kenma realized how embarrassing this all was. So. I was about to play Minecraft, you can help me build my house if you want. Kuru laughed. I'd love to kitten. But we're making some dinner first because I know you haven't eaten. But. No buts except your cute one going to the kitchen. Kenma felt extra flustered so all he could do was grab Kuru's hand as he guided them out of the room. Fine. If I knew you'd be this flustered and adorable I would have confessed years ago. Dot dot dot. Well you're mine now. I always have been. Extra. What's Kenma doing? Isn't that the girl Captain's been tutoring? I've never seen Kenma be physically affectionate with anyone. Well he's latched to Kuru's arm now and resting his head against him. Do you think? Maybe. Kenma's jealous. Just then Kenma stepped forward a bit, putting some distance between Kuru and Fumiko. It's kind of like... He's marking his territory. Kenma's so cute.